I'm Stephen Benoon and you are watching Israeli News Live. A little quiet this afternoon in Israel, uh, but uh, north of Israel and Ukraine, it's a different story altogether. This civil war just doesn't ever seem to come to an end. And it's also a civil war that's about to bring two superpowers head to head. In fact, in an article uh, by the New York Times on Sunday, it was reported by the United States uh, military advisors that they are once again considering arming with lethal weapons the Kiev's uh, current uh, government in, and the current military fighting for the government in Ukraine. This, on the other hand, has brought Russian critics to a very strong stance and a strong warning to the United States if they go to getting this deep involved in this war there. Uh, just a little update, though, as far as the, uh, the information there. <clears throat> um, Kiev, uh, President Obama has made no decision on providing such lethal assistance, according to the New York Times. But after a series of striking reversals that Ukraine's forces have suffered in recent weeks, the Obama administration is taking a fresh look at the question of military aid, the New York Times said. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, who plans to visit Kiev on Thursday, is open to new discussions about providing lethal assistance, as in General Martin Dempsey, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff's official said. Defense Min uh, Secretary Chuck Hagel, who is leaving his post soon, backs sending defense weapons to Ukraine forces. The White House has limited American aid to non-lethal items, including body armor, uh, night vision goggles, first aid kits, emergency equipment, uh, etc. Of course, there's no, a number of other articles that have reported about these, uh, these uh, particular types of developments. But now, the United States considering lethal weapons, well, that didn't fly over too well with the, with the Russian officials. And uh, in an article in TASS uh, news agency, it says, U.S. supplies of lethal weapons to Ukraine will escalate conflict, uh, says a Russian lawmaker. Um, and this was uh, Konstantin, Konstantin uh, Koshchev uh, says uh, uh, in an article pu published by TASS news agency here that uh, if this decision is taken, it might trigger further escalation of the conflict and will mean that the United States is embarking after Kiev on the path of solving this situation by force. Konstantin uh, Koshchev, the chairman of the International Committee of Russians Feder uh, Federation Council Upper Parliament House, told journalists stressing that the way out of the Ukrainian crisis uh, lied through talks only. He reminded that a day ago, the leaders of Ukraine, uh, Ukraine, France, Germany had called to stop combat operations. And at this very moment, we find ourselves on the brink of a decision to supply the Ukrainian army with lethal weapons. It will uh, fight more effectively with such weapons. It will continue to exterminate its own civilian population. First of all, those who have found themselves hostages to this situation, Koshchev said. So it's... Quite clear, and, and you can count on one thing, Koshchev also has the backing of Vladimir Putin in the statements, the strong statements that he's making. It's only a matter of time before Vladimir Putin steps in militarily. He won't just arm the rebels. Push him enough, he'll come and take this country by force. Maybe exactly what the European Union would like to see happen, what Rome would like to see happen. I see Rome is sending their head delegation to begin with again, once again, John Kerry, who they seem to send all over the world. Of course, we think it's the United States. It's just a puppeteer, we might call it. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israel.